guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another tag video for you and this one is the stay at home mom tag. This is a tag I've been wanting to do for a while. I've had it on my list of things to film and just have not had the opportunity to do it. I actually filmed it a while, well, over the holidays and then just didn't care for um, some of the footage that I got. So I am redoing it today and going to be sharing this with you very, very soon. If you are new to my channel, my name is Danae. I am a stay at home mom of a two and a half year old little boy named Gunner. And I thought that this would be a fun little tag just for you to get to know me a little bit better. I know that I have a bunch of new subscribers here now and, um, just thought that this would be fun. I always enjoy doing tag videos. I always say that it's just a fun way to get to know the person behind the camera a little bit better. So I know that there are, I think are like a couple of different variations out there. So um, the one that I am doing today, um, I just found on YouTube. I don't know who started it originally, but it is a total of 15 questions. So I am gonna go ahead and jump into it. Okay, question number one is, do you have a daily routine or go with the flow? I would say it's a hybrid of both. Um, I do like to have a little bit of a routine every day, um, especially with having a toddler. I feel like you have to have some sort of routine, but then again, I do have a toddler, so sometimes you do just have to go with the flow because no two days are going to be the same. So. Um, I do try to have a, a set like schedule as far as like around approximately what time we have breakfast and lunch and you know dinner and, and all of that and his naps are usually around the same time every day. He does go to preschool two days a week for three hours um, each time so that is you know fits into our routine as well but you know it's kind of a mixture there there are days where we have a really good pace and schedule and then there are days where everything just goes to hell and it's like okay you know like you just have to kind of go with it question number two is how long do you plan to stay home um I don't know honestly I I, I don't know <laughs> um, we are trying to have another baby. If you are new to my channel, then you probably don't know, but we went through years of fertility treatments to get pregnant with Gunner, and we are about to start fertility treatments again at the end of this month. Um, so hopefully we have more babies, at least one more, and I will definitely at least continue to stay at home until our kids are, are in school. Um, and hopefully, you know, YouTube turns out to be a really like good opportunity for me and is a great way for me to bring in a little bit of a secondary income and I don't have to go back to work. I don't know. We'll kind of, we'll see. We're going to just go with the flow on that one. Question number three says, do you do the homework or share? Um, we don't have homework yet. Gunner is two and a half. He is in preschool, but he doesn't have homework yet per se. Um, but I'm sure once we do get to that point, we will both be sharing that responsibility. Um, I think both my husband and I are strong suited in certain subjects over the other one. Um, so, you know, I, I think we'll both take turns with that depending on whatever the subject is. Question number four, do you do anything on the side for money? Um, I mean, YouTube, I am now making money on YouTube, which is nice. It's not a lot. I haven't gotten my first check yet, but I am officially monetized. And I hope that it leads to a point where I'm doing some collabs with other companies or sponsorships. Um, at the moment, the only other way that I make a little extra money on the side is by selling things, like selling things on eBay, Poshmark. I do have quite a few things listed currently on Poshmark and I have a ton of stuff that I still need to add to it, but I will link to that below. Um, and then also just like doing little things when I shop, you know, using Ebates when I shop online, I get cash back for that. Um, and using Ibotta when I go grocery shopping, I get cash back for that. So it's not necessarily like making an income, but you get money back and that's money that I just put aside to use for fun, like spending money. 
Um, question number five is, what do you love about being a stay-at-home mom? I love everything about being a stay-at-home mom. I am so blessed and do not take for granted one bit um, how lucky I am and how blessed we are for me to stay at home with our son and for us to still live a pretty comfortable lifestyle. Um, no, we're not, you know, going on extravagant vacations anymore like we used to. There are definitely things that we've cut back on by not having a secondary salary coming in from me working, but the benefits of that far outweigh the negative. Um, it's so incredible to spend every single day with my son and to see him develop and grow and to be a part of teaching him how to develop and grow and just seeing him change and just, I mean, every day my husband and I are always commenting about how much we've noticed a difference in him and just he's talking more every day and he's doing more and learning more and it's just so incredible to see and I just love having these little memories that I get to have with him, just him and I together, just like our little personal um moments that we have together so it's just really really special for me especially because it was so hard for us to get pregnant with him number six what do you hate about being a stay-at-home mom i wouldn't say that i hate anything i mean there are definitely things that are not always glamorous about being a stay-at-home mom um you do kind of lose a sense of yourself um, you know, especially if you were a working career woman like I was, um, you know, when I became a stay at home mom, we had just relocated to a new area. We had no family or friends here and I had just left my job. So I, I missed that social interaction of like other adults. Um, and you know, sometimes it is hard to be at home all the time and you do feel like you're missing out on certain things. Um, but I, I wouldn't say that I hate anything about it. I think that just like any other job, it comes with its challenges, but it also has its pros. Number seven, did you always want to be a stay at home mom? No, I, in my mind, had this idea that I was gonna have my son and after my maternity leave was over, I was gonna go back to work, even if it was like part-time. I loved my job. I had my dream job. I had an amazing boss. I, I, I loved my job so much and it was so hard for me to not think about going back to work after having a baby and my husband really wanted me to stay at home with him and we kind of butted heads about that for a good bit but then it was like as soon as I had Gunner my whole perception had changed and I was so enamored by him and so in love with him and I could not go back to work and I remember it was so hard for me to tell my boss and every now and then I would take trips to go see him because we were now like an hour away from there. And um, everybody would be, you know, asking me, are you coming back? When are you coming back? And I would be like, I don't know. And in my mind, I knew that I just wasn't going to come back. And I finally had to sit down with my boss and I was like, I'm just not ready. I'm, I'm, I'm not ready to come back. And I said, maybe, you know, once he's a year or two, I'll be ready to go back to work. Maybe once he's in school. And I remember this summer when he turned two, my boss texted me and she was like, it's been two years, you know, like, are you coming back? And I was like, no, I don't think I can do it. I, I just, I can't. I love being a stay at home mom. Number eight, what does your partner do for work? So my husband is an engineer. He works in management for a large manufacturing company. Um, yeah. That's about all I can say. <laughs> Number nine, when do you shower, day or night? Um, typically at night, kind of depends on the day. I'm a bath person, so I love taking a bath when I can. Usually I try to take like two nights a week for myself just to take a nice relaxing bath, wash my hair, shave, do all of that. Um, but days in between that, I will definitely take a shower. Sometimes I'll take it during the day. Sometimes I'll take it at night before I go to bed. It really just kind of depends on what we have going on, how I'm feeling. 
I just kind of go with the flow with that one. Um, number 10, do you wear makeup every day? No, I do not. Um, I do try to put on a little bit of mascara every day if I can, but I don't always. Um, it just helps me to feel better just having a little something um, on, especially because I don't, I've talked about this before, but I, my eyelashes are really, really light. They're the same color as my eyebrows and I don't like them. I want black eyelashes. So I always put a little bit of mascara on when I can. Um, I do try, I will say lately I have been trying more and more to at least put a little bit of makeup on because it does pick me up and it does make me feel more confident during the day. It helps me to feel more productive as vain as that may seem. It just, that's what helps me to not feel so like blah and frumpy, you know, to get out of my pajamas, do a little something with myself, and I feel like I am ready to knock things out a little bit easier throughout the day versus just wanting to lounge around in my PJs all day and watching TV. Number 11, do you style your hair every day? Definitely not. Usually my hair is up in a ponytail or a top knot. It's very, very rare <laughs> for me to style my hair every single day. Number 12, do you work out? I try. I go in spurts. I have moments where I work out really, really well. I'm very, you know, faithful to it and I stick to it. And then I have moments where I'm just like not feeling it at all. I have really been dealing with a lot of anxiety and stress lately. And I've been talking about this a little more on my social media. Um, but I do want to get back into my workout routine again, just because I know that it's going to help me to feel so much better and, and hopefully help relieve some of that stress and anxiety that I'm feeling. Um, and I just work out around home. I love going for walks around our neighborhood or Gunnar and I will go to a few different like places locally, um, parks and trails and whatnot that we can walk around. Um, or I'll just, you know, like I said, I'll walk, um, I'll work out here at home. We have a treadmill and an elliptical, but we have not set them up since we've moved into our house. Um, but yeah, I just, I just do it here. Number 13, what is your cleaning schedule? So I actually want to do a video on this a little more in depth, but basically I try to clean something every single day. So Mondays are my bathrooms, Tuesdays is the kitchen, Wednesdays I do the bedrooms, Thursday is the living room, and then Friday is when I do the floors, like steam cleaning, really deep clean of the floors. Um, so if that is something that you guys want to see a little more in depth video on, definitely leave in the comments below. I'm happy to do that. I thought about doing like more detailed um, version of what my cleaning schedule is and then sharing with you my favorite cleaning products. Um, I know that I did a poll here on my channel and also on Instagram to see what types of videos y'all wanted to see for the new year and a lot of you said more cleaning and organization so um, definitely let me know if you would like me to do a video on that and I will. Number 14, do you get alone time with your partner? Kind of, sort of. Um, Probably not like we should. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing to say, but Chris and I have not been on a date since before Gunnar was born. And I know that that's really bad, but it is really hard when you are in a new area. You don't have any family here. You don't have any friends here. You have a baby and you don't know anyone or trust anyone to stay with your baby. So now we are starting to meet more people and you know we've been here now for a while we have you know church friends and and other people that we now know um that we can use as a babysitter and we have tried trust me we have tried a, a few times to go out on a date night and some something always came up or didn't work out or you know our sitter ended up not being able to make it or whatever the situation was so um but even at home like we we don't get a lot of alone time. We love having Gunner around, and I know it's probably not the healthiest thing, um, but that is something for 2019 I want to work on is taking more time for just the two of us. Last question, number 15, is do you get me time? Not as often as I would like, um, but I do, kind of. Um, like I said, usually like, twice a week I try to take a nice relaxing bath, 
when Gunnar was younger, it was a little bit easier. Chris would watch him and I really would have like a good hour and a half to two hours just to soak and shave and exfoliate, wash my hair, pamper myself. But now that Gunnar is older and he's just wild and on the go all the time, he's constantly coming in the bathroom and interrupting me. So it's not really like a relaxing me time, but it is me time, you know, like I am able to sit in there and do what I need to do. And that's really just my time that I watch other YouTube videos and kind of catch up on, on my favorite channels and my friends. Um, also, every other weekend when I go grocery shopping, Chris stays home with Chris. And even though grocery shopping is not anything exciting, I do look forward to those Saturdays because I go to Starbucks, I get me a coffee, I go to Target, and I spend <laughs> at least an hour in there, and then I go and get the rest of my errands ran. So yeah, I would definitely say that that's me time, for sure. So those are all of the questions for the stay at home mom tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got to know me a little bit better. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I do upload videos on motherhood and lifestyle content three days a week. And as I mentioned earlier, going through infertility, we are getting ready to go through our next infertility journey and will be vlogging and sharing that with y'all. So if that is something that you're interested in following along in, make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit that bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of those videos coming very, very soon. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave any questions that you have down below or comments. I am getting ready to do a Q&A soon. There are no questions off limits, so feel free to leave those down below and I will be responding to those shortly. So thank you guys so much and sharing in your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you all next time. Bye.